Hey everyone, I thought I'd shoot a quick sequel to yesterday's Proto Throttle video just to cover a few more of the features that I didn't have time to discuss in, in the original video. Um, first of all, I wanted to mention a uh, neat configuration option with the reverser. Um, the Proto Throttle defaults so that the reverser is set relative to the direction of travel on the layout. So, um, so right means you are always moving to the right and left means you are always moving to the left. But uh, kind of a neat feature they built into it is that you can configure, you, you can uh, uh, enable the uh, reverser swap option so that obviously if you're moving to the right or to, the, to what is to the west on my layout, uh, you will uh, still have the, the reverser to the right if you have a, a west-facing locomotive. Uh, if you are moving east to the left on my layout and you have an east-facing locomotive such as this um, uh, SD38-2, the blue unit there, you can uh, enable the reverser swap so that you would still set it relative to the uh, the position of the engineer in the cab or, or the, the view of that engineer rather than the view from the layout as a whole. So if you're the engineer in this in this east facing unit, uh, you would want right to still be forward and you would enable reverser swap so that that would, would be the case. When you got to uh, the end of your run and you were turning back toward Council Bluffs, moving back west again in the uh, in the second unit, then you would disable reverser swap and from your position relative to your position in the cab of that west facing unit you would uh, that that would still have the reverser to the the right so um, some some neat options there some neat configurability uh, personally i i prefer the uh, the default so that the reverser is always set according to your direction of movement as you view the layout but uh, definitely some neat options there for, for those who, uh, who prefer the, the uh, more uh, prototypical view of, uh, of operating as if you're, you're actually in the locomotive cab. The other thing I wanted to mention is with the, uh, the brake feature here, uh, you have a couple of options um, with regard to the effectiveness and the, and the use of the brake. Um, personally, I, I use the default where it's either 100% off or 100% on, it just toggles between uh, on and off. Um, but you also have the ability, given the work that's been uh, uh, available from the major decoder manufacturers uh, uh, allowing for a variable break, uh, you have the ability to, uh, to, to set the, uh, the brake's effectiveness based on uh, where you are within the the arc of the of the brake lever so at a quarter turn half turn three quarters turn uh, the brake becomes more effective and uh, uh, Loke Sound actually recently introduced uh, code to uh, for their decoders to to enable that as well so I, I think that's true of all major decoder manufacturers now and uh, ISE has, uh, has has programmed the Proto throttle to uh, to support that, so I, I think that's a, a really neat option. Uh, personally, I don't use the brake all that much, uh, even with fairly high momentum on the layout. Uh, I, my mo my momentum is set to um, uh, 230 out of 255, and uh, but even with that, I find that uh, it's it's fairly easy to uh, to operate with with just the throttle and and to kind of ease down on on. Uh, uh, on joints and so on without too much trouble. And I'll, I'll uh, give you a little example of, of both here, both with and without the brake, and, and uh, give you a feel for, for what that's like. As I mentioned in yesterday's video, notch five is, is uh, maximum speed for all my consists. Uh, for the yard consists, notch five equates to about eight miles an hour. So we'll get, uh, get up to that speed, kill the throttle, enable the brake. And as you can see, that uh, uh, brings you to a, a pretty effective stop. Uh, 
change the reverser, knock off the brake. We'll uh, throw our turnout for track 11, which brings us up to a joint with a cut of, of uh, covered hoppers here. And uh, so, um, anyway, that, that's our uh, um, that's my video for today. I, I hope this has uh, shed some more light on some of the great features in the Proto Throttle. I uh, have I, I just can't say enough good things about uh, about the work that ISE has done on this throttle and and uh, uh, the, the possibility possibilities that this opens up for operations. It, it's just been a a, a, a huge uh, game changer for me. Uh, I, I love the ability not only to not only that you have a, a prototype style control stand in the palm of your hand, but that you uh, uh, can can now think in terms of the prototype when discussing your throttle settings. You're no longer having to um, mention throttle settings in uh, in relation to your position on a dial. Uh, but you can actually speak and think in terms of, of notches the way the uh, the way prototype engineers do. So um, I, I just think it's a huge uh, huge advancement for our hobby, and and I hope you'll all um, check out the Proto Throttle, and I, I think you'll be uh, uh, just as excited about uh, about what ISE has done here. Thanks very much for watching.